What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing an ACT clutch that's designed for a 2JZ engine that meets with a G-Force Racing dog box transmission. If that's something you're interested, stay tuned and check out what's inside the box. So if you're like me and you're running a 2JZ engine and you got yourself a G-Force Racing transmission, that is going to be the clutch you want to run for your car. There is other options, of course. This is the option I chose with. That's why I'm going to review it. And uh, we're just going to open up the box and uh, see what's inside and what to expect moving forward. This is the exact part number in case you're wondering. Also, I will have a link in the description for this clutch setup. Once again, this clutch meets a 2JZ engine with a dog box transmission. All right, so this clutch came in double packaging, nice little packaging to keep it away from opening during shipping. As soon as we open the box, we find our stickers. Most favorite part about every automotive product you purchase is the stickers. Doesn't matter how much you paid for it, as long as it comes with the stickers, we're all satisfied. Got a nice little SFI certification, which means that this clutch has been built to spec for safety for SFI certification to run in any series that require it. Nice little scan logo if you want to go on their website. Let's see, we got a alignment tool. This is very necessary for any clutch job. If you've done a clutch job in the past, you'll know that without this, you're gonna have a really bad day. This is specifically designed for a GM spline. Let's see if it says it right here. Yeah, it says a GM 26 spline. And the special thing about that is that this is designed for the pilot bearing size, ran specifically on the setup. So I don't think this might actually work on like a regular GM setup, but anyway, this comes with the box. We're gonna be definitely using it. And now we gotta take this foam stuff off. And here it is, triple disc flywheel all set up together nice little nice little grease and we even got ARP flywheel bolts so a little backstory I've been running a dog box transmission in my S14 with a 2J for 10 years now when I originally did the setup there wasn't clutches like this available yet so I reached out to Excessive Manufacturer. They set up, they made this custom setup uh, clutch. It was the uh, competition clutch that was designed for a 2J. But the problem with dog box input shafts, they were just too short and the input shaft could not reach the pilot bearing that typically gets pressed into the crankshaft of a 2JZ engine. I, I, ran, I went through a couple issues with it. Eventually, I got a hold of G-Force and they made me a custom input shaft that was just a little longer to actually meet that uh, pilot bearing. But now, it takes techno techn technology and ACT has designed a flywheel that's actually offset away from the crankshaft of a 2JZ and they put a pilot bearing directly into the flywheel which allows you to use a G-Force transmission without any custom input shafts to make it all work properly. All right, so we're going to cut this open and get this whole thing out of there. Wow, look at that. So this is the uh, this is the pilot bearing I was talking about right here. It's installed inside, and if you can see really cl close here, it's offset quite a bit. So that's the design I was talking about to work for the G-Force transmission without getting a custom input shaft. You got the triple disc right here. So I pulled off one of the ARP bolts that I had for my Flywheel, these were designed specifically for a 2JZ. Well, we're going to compare it to the ones that ACT provided with this kit. And I can see right away that they are actually a little bit shorter. So obviously, I will trust their engineers and the design. They know what they're doing. They gave us a custom bolt to make this a one-stop install without any issues and trying to get extra necessary parts 
to make all this work. Alright, so if you're a little geek like me and you like to check the weights of all your components that you installed on the car, I actually have a racing scale that I'm going to put to use in this one and we're going to compare my old clutch weight to the new clutch weight and what that's going to indicate is the weight difference. If you guys uh, understand the uh, rotational weight, anything that's bolted onto the flywheel, that weight will affect the performance of the car or the performance of the engine and how fast the RPMs perform and also any type of weight attached to the flywheel or the crankshaft in this case will um, take up a little bit of horsepower and torque. That's why there's a big difference between engine horsepower and the wheel horse horsepower. What that means is engine horsepower is what the engine truly produces but then by the time it gets to the back wheels there's a loss. Typically on a rear wheel drive vehicle you have anywhere from 15 to 20 percent horsepower loss because of things such as the flywheel and the clutch how heavy it is, uh, two-piece drive shaft, one-piece drive shaft, that all affects it, also the differential affects it too. So, we got the scales here, we're going to put the old flywheel and the clutch setup on first, we're going to get our weight, then we're going to put the new ACT clutch on and we're going to see the difference. Alright, so we got the scale at zero pounds right now, we're going to start with the old clutch, we're going to put that on on the scale, and we're going to see what the weight of that setup is. This was a dual clutch setup. As I mentioned, this was like a factory Jay-Z setup that was customly designed to have two plates in between. And the weight of that is 33 pounds. Now we're gonna put the new ACT triple disc clutch setup with their flywheel all in one. And the weight of that is 21 pounds. So we have 33 pounds and then 21 pounds. That means we are losing 12 pounds of rotational mass. That is actually huge. I did not expect that to be uh, that much. We actually, me and my buddy Dwayne here, we did a little bat. I suspected 10 pounds. He suspected 7 pounds. 12 pounds is a lot, guys. That's uh, quite a bit of an upgrade to the engine. I'm sure I'm going to feel the difference in the RPMs. The engine should rev a lot quicker. And I'm sure that clutch is going to feel a lot better than that old heavy design that I've been running for the last 10 years. Alright, last but not least, we're going to take this clutch kit apart, do a visual inspection, show you guys all the ins and outs of it before we go and install it on the vehicle. Alright, now that I got all the bolts off, this is what's considered your pressure plate. These splines right here are the ones that are being pressed against the throwout bearing that's installed on the bell housing. Once that gets pressed in, it presses against these and it releases the pressure on these individual discs. Got these nice little components here that keep everything together intact from moving around. I have a one separation plate right here. I don't know the exact term for this, but this is considered like a mini flywheel. This is where the disc actually grips onto because we have three of these discs here. You have a, you have a nice marking here, top side up, transmission side, it's all engraved so you don't mess this up. It is easy to happen when you're at the track, you're in a hurry trying to change your clutch out things go wrong and then you have malfunctions and that ruins your day. What's awesome about this ACT clutch setup, every single one of these components actually has a part number so you can individually replace it. Once you buy this kit and you spend the money on it, you can then order individual discs or the pressure plate or the flywheel. Like this one here for example, it says middle middle disc so we know exactly that if this was to fail out of the three you can just replace one if you had to if you were in a bind and you got the third disc it says bottom side on this one and we got the flywheel itself part number once again just like all the other components everything is replaceable individually here's the here's the pilot bearing that I mentioned earlier in the video. 
Well, I hope you guys liked this unboxing video. I hope it helps you guys out just a little bit. Maybe it'll push you towards purchasing this setup. If not, at least you know one of the options you have for a Jay-Z with a dog box. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.